All right, so let's start this out with a code question. Can you run low voltage wire from the roof to the ground in the same conduit as the DC home runs? The answer is a big yeah, but. Yeah, but they have to be, they have to belong to the same system and they all have to have the same insulation rating of the highest conductor insulation rating in that conduit. 600 volt ethernet wire, which is what a lot of people want to use, is kind of hard to come by. You're not going to just run out to Home Depot and get that real quick or Lowe's or whatever hardware store you, you frequent or supplier. When the inspector comes and he sees that wire sticking out of the same conduit into the inverter, so if you're using the Tygo EI inverter, which is part of our EI energy storage solution, which we have plenty of. If you're shopping around for a storage solution, we got you covered. If you aren't, but you're using our TS4s for rapid shutdown, optimization, module level monitoring, and you're running that communication down from the Tygo access point, either to the EI inverter or to the Cloud Connect Advanced, you have to use 600 volt rated wire for residential. It baffles me why you would short sheet this part of the installation process and use a lower rating wire that will probably fail in the future. I don't know how far along it will be, but if, but if it fails, that's $400 out of your pocket to go out there and swap out a cable that's 50 or 60 cents a foot, which you should have installed in the first place. We will recommend an Omni Cable A21804 wire. It's a four conductor RS485. It's shielded, it's super tough, and it's gonna pay for itself the first time you don't have to go out on site two, three, four, five, ten 10 years later to replace a stupid ethernet wire that melted because you didn't use the right stuff. We will promote safe, co-compliant, bulletproof systems. That's it. And if you're using lower voltage wire than what you should be using, first of all, that ain't co-compliant, and you're gonna go back out there on site eventually. That ain't bulletproof. We recently had one of our field service techs out on site for this customer, big customer, nationwide. I don't know if I can say their names, I'm not going to, but. 20 of their people, it might have even been more than that, went through the TS4 certification course that's on our website. Like they freaking slammed it. They talked to our sales engineering team. They submitted plans to our SEs. Our field engineer, our, our, our field service tech was on site. He's like, hey, I wanted to get your, your advice on this. Here's the inside. And there was some stuff going on. And the first thing I saw was this ethernet cable coming out of the right side conduit with all the PV wires that went into their MPPT terminals on the left side of the EI inverter. I was like, oh man, here we go. So the first thing I asked him was like, what is the rating of that ethernet wire? I could tell it was ethernet. And he went over, he flipped it over, 600 volts. Woohoo! Couldn't believe it. That made my heart so happy. And I've been saying it for years. 100% of the people who follow our design criteria are successful 100% of the time. They are. You can be too. Just listen to what we're telling you and you will have a, a success just like they will. You'll have safe, co-compliant, bulletproof systems. Out.